right, folks, and welcome to another edition of our adventure in the visual novel, If My Heart Had Wings. Of course, on the last episode, uh, Amani has agreed to be the club advisor. And of course, some teachers have a problem with it, but that's, of course, to be expected. And of course, by wise words from Ageha, even though we have gotten a pass by Akari, the uh, student council president, it is still necessary to take their steps wisely. Very well wise thoughts. And of course, at the very last part, of course, Amane promising that she will not say anything about the club's activities at the secret base. But of course, that left everyone quite nervous. So that's where we left off. So, Amane, if you don't mind uh, loading up that particular scene. And hopefully you don't spill the beans. Here we go. A damp silence fell over everyone, including myself. The least reliable to consult with in the club. Who could it be? Agaha was the first to recover. Yeah, they do. Kinistera,負け。さあ、さあ、みんな、これからたっぷり働いてもらうからね。部長、私なんだけど。Agha flicked her hair back and winked. Oh. As her hair flowed from side to side, I found myself lost in her eyes. Are we focus? Focus! Oh, my. What's going on? あれ、なんか変な視線を感じるんだけど。I <laughs> uh, wonder why. あとでちょっとセックするね。Can't help you on this one, buddy. 言葉の意味はわからないけど、なんか怖いです。Good idea. Just don't don't be in a rush. Just, just a matter of fact, just just go find just go find a video game to play or something. <laughs> Punishment. That was a word known only to us that referred to the consequence of a terrifying game in which the loser is punished. By the way, in the sense that the words are understood between us, the game's contents proceed in severity from ritual suicide to sermon to punishment. Though I have to admit, that ritual suicide does sound kind of stupid. The point of punishment is that it only became a game because uh, the words Anchan wrote for us were difficult and cool. Punishment. How nostalgic. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry。さて、隠れるとは言っても、みんなにはそれぞれ今まで通りに頑張ってもらうのは変わらないわ。期待政策、FRP工作。部品入手、気象データの収集にあちこちへのメモ足も。大変よ。頑張っていかないと。でもやるわよ。私たちの夢のために。えい、えい、ああ。I do like her energy. Well, I suppose 
because it is what it is. The new Soaring Club had begun working quietly, but actively, to achieve its goals. Aga put her hand and fist together. The dazzling aura emitted by Aga at this moment was obvious to all. It was overwhelming. Not even Kotori could resist its power. Her energy levels are really off the charts. It's over 9,000! The club? Agaha raised both arms in a show of authority. Agaha held her fist out firmly in front of her. It seemed like nothing special, but... Something hot struck me in the chest with a thud. And then I... Okay! Sorry for keeping you waiting. Eat! <laughs> Eat! Eat as much as you want! Food is a source of power. Eat well, make yourself strong, and get yourself ready to move tomorrow. Did I get the sounds right for when they're always munching on something? <laughs> Eat! Eat and eat more! Eat till you burst! <laughs> Summer's here and it's hot! Don't worry, summer's supposed to be hot! I like how Kanako is just straight chill right now. <laughs> Enough already! Latori and the rest nodded at my answer. The temperature was clearly different between other students and those of us in the Soaring Club. But that's how it goes. Even after finishing my usual work and returning to my room, I find myself unable to stay still. It's Agaha's fault. She got me so ex she got so excited. It must have rubbed off on me. Ah. Agaha was absolutely stunning at that moment. Her eyes were dazzling and her form radiant. Just thinking about it made my eyes close in sweet remembrance. I... I must have felt the same thing back then. When nobody could get me off my bike. I refused to be defeated. I began polishing the bike by the wall with a rag. Whether it could be ridden or not was of no concern to me. I just wanted to clean it up a bit. I didn't want to be remembered the next time I take it out. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed that up. I didn't want to be embarrassed the next time I take it out. It happens. Morning. As usual, I waited for Aga to come, pushed Kotori's wheelchair, and went with everyone to school.
Oh, it's you, Hotaru. Long time no see. Today, Hotaru to go with me. I'm going to go first. Uh, could that mean... Oh, she's already gone. Um, uh, Miwaku? Oh, no. It's not that at all. It's just... Did Ageha mention anything to you? I see. It'd be nice if she would have bothered to explain herself. Anyway, we're running late, so I explain as we walk. Did you hear about the return of the Soaring Club? Aye. It's back. But Tobioka is keeping an eye on us, so we're trying to be inconspicuous. Agaha probably thinks that it's not a good idea to have the members gather and go to school together with everyone all excited about it. Not sure if I'd go that far. No, not at all. I have to have the company. What? It tickles if I say that. Uh-huh. Despite the fact that you don't even know what that means. <laughs> Otaru, please report to the staff room a little later. That's the past! The past! I was still in shorts for crying out loud! On the contrary, I was the one who did stuff back then. Kedo. <laughs> Are you taking me for a ride? <laughs> what exactly is there to enjoy about this conversation? Hmm. Obioka was standing near the school gate. He had a terrible look in his eyes when he saw us. However, when he realized that the Kazuto sisters were a bit apart from each other and wheelchair-bound Kotori wasn't with Agya, he seemed confused. <coughs> Come here. Ohayou. <coughs> At any rate, we couldn't outwardly show our blunt animosity in front of Hotaru. I guess this means that Aga's plan is coming into its own. Oh, sure, thanks for today. Otaru smiled happily and skipped up the stairs. That's right. You two have rarely met each other in person. Pardon me, princess. Well, there hasn't been much contact, is all. Uh, yeah, but she's younger. 
so we never played in the same way. And she would always just follow us around. Hmm? What do you mean? あの子、青井くんを見る目、ひなが親鳥を見るみたいだったから。ああ、well、maybe that's as much as I can say. Good point. I never asked. Until last year, she would head to the garage early under the guise of going to her sports club morning practice. Because our new secret base is on the other side of the lake, that's no longer possible. That too is bound to become a problem. Um... Nani, kore? Both my desk and Kotori's had envelopes in them. Mission? Find the following parts. Just know you are to find them with Hotaru. Also in the corner was written a strange symbol that looked like an 8 on its side. That appeared to have antennas attached to it. Um... Perhaps this is supposed to be a swallowtail butterfly? Feeling of fatigue fell over me. What's this all about? I saw no sign of Aga in the classroom. And then she appeared. She was with a girl I've never seen before. They talked to each other near the entrance. I don't know. She goes to the same school, so I know I've at least seen her around before. I've never until now seen her with Akeha. I haven't seen her in the robot club either. With a smile, Akeha saw the girl off and entered the room. Yes, he said, hmm, Ohio. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Ah, uh, well... Astronomy? So are you looking to her for weather data or something? Well, um... Never mind that. Let's talk about this mission. Ageha raised her finger and waved it back and forth. Haven't you seen this sort of thing in movies? Uh, okay, okay, I get it. Is including Hotaru meant to be a foil against Tobioka? That's it. 
I can only get behind the cute part. Anyway, we should go buy beast and bring them back to you. Agao's tone returned to normal. Well then, it'll have to wait until after school. To complete Agao's mission, we'll have to invite Otaru. But she's in a lower grade classroom. This might end up being more than a little embarrassing. Oh. Oh, Otaru? Oh, I understand. No need to say anything more. Though we already told her, okay. It's I who should ask. Is it okay with you? People must have been passing by as we talked. Oh, hey, hey, don't say that. Oh, but if you think of our objective, wouldn't it be better if outsiders misunderstood? You'd best not deny it for now. Perhaps I made the wrong choice. It's not my exact feeling, but... So, so oh, no. Ah, shall we go? I smiled. Otaru couldn't be more innocent if she tried. <laughs> and so we started walking. I walk. Taru stumbles after me. Even outside, nothing changes. Um... Ah. Hi. Shouldn't we be walking together like normal people? She looked slightly doubtful. Ah. Uh, well, whatever. It's not, it was. You don't have to walk behind me. <gasps> Otaru's eyes widened, and she let out a strange voice. No, it's not that it's bad, necessarily. I don't feel comfortable if I'm walking with someone and they're behind me. Well, uh, that'd be nice and all, but... Uh, thank you. It's kind of hard to explain, but I suddenly felt an attack of discomfort. It was sort of an itchy or ticklish feeling. My face effortless, contorted, and stiffened into a smile. Maybe it's because of all the bike riding. Come on. That made Otaru smile. Remembering the strange palpitations, I frantically pointed myself forward. Anyway, I'm not going to be able to settle down, so I want us to walk side by side when we're walking together. <laughs> the sound of footsteps caught up to me. I walked slowly to match the delicate movements of her legs. Ugh. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep this up. And hopefully we will get an understanding of what is all going on with this mission but in any ways thank you so much for joining and watching this particular episode hopefully you got a kick out of it and hopefully you're as clueless as i am because i'm absolutely clueless <laughs>
<laughs> but anyway, some upcoming stuff. I am going to be doing another uh, gaming stream this Saturday. So that is uh, Saturday, August 31st. And it's going to be at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So that'll be 4 p.m. Central time. And that'll be uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be on my Twitch channel. Link is in the slide here. And also link is in the description as well. So if you can make it, we'd we'll love to see you there. And once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, happy mixing, everyone.